exponential growth. Let's talk about change. Sometimes change just happens, but often it's predictable. If I save my coffee grounds for the compost pile and I add two ounces every day, this will happen. If we made a table of days and coffee grounds amounts, it would look like this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. If we made a graph, it would look like this. Its linear growth makes a straight line. I can make an equation to describe this change pattern. Y, the coffee grounds, equals 2 times X, the number of days I've been adding them. We're adding the same amount again and again and again, otherwise known as multiplication. But what if we had something that was growing and all the parts kept growing? So this 100 square centimeter clump of moss in the garden grows 10% of the whole patch every month. It gets complicated. The first month I could figure out 10% of 100 is 10 and add that back to get 110 square centimeters. But the next month we have the original moss and 10% plus another 10% of the original moss plus 10% of the 10% that grew the last month. What? There's a shortcut. With linear growth we're adding the same amount each change with exponential change, we're multiplying by the same amount. To figure that out, we add the percents first, changing to decimals. 100%, 1, plus 10%, 0. 0.10, equals 1.1, 1. 1, our growth factor. The next month, the whole amount is going to grow, so we just take the answer, the 110 square centimeters, and multiply that by 1.1 1. 1 again. The next month, applying our shortcut, we take the moss we had the earlier month, multiply it by 1.1 again for the third month. And we have a shorter way of writing this. Multiplying again and again and again is exponents. 100 is the starting point. 1.1 is the growth factor. 1 plus the growth as a decimal. And x is the number of increases. Here's our time and the amount of moss on a table and a graph, as well as how much it grew. It's not the same. You can see we're gaining more every month, but we are multiplying by the same factor, 1.1, each time. Here's how exponential growth looks on a graph, comparing it to linear change, starting with the same change of 10 units. They're close for a while, but you can watch the exponential change get bigger with every change. Wrapping this up, each month we are multiplying by 1.1 again. So to figure out why, how many square centimeters of moss I have, I take my starting point, multiply it by the growth factor, raised to the x power, the number of months. 10% is the growth rate that's how much bigger that, than 100% we're getting. But we need to add that back to the 100% to get our growth factor, what we multiply by. Here's a little pattern for multiplication. Anything times 1 is the same thing, right? Anything times anything bigger than 1 gets bigger. Not always a lot bigger, but bigger. And we'll stop here. But think about what it would be like if we were shrinking. Here's the legal stuff.